Hello, teachers, parents, and educational leaders, and welcome to this episode of Breaking Down the Best. Now, during this episode, you will get a peek into the members-only area where I have tons of resources to help you make math fun, make it click, and make it stick. There should be a link somewhere around this video where you can learn more. All right, now that we got that out of the way, let's get to it and let's break down the standard. Welcome to Breaking Down the Best, a video series dedicated to breaking down Florida's best standards for math. So grab something to write with and maybe even a snack. This looks good. And don't forget to put a smile on your face. There you go. I see you. And let's dive into today's best standard. Hello, everyone, and welcome. My name is Sarah McCarthy, the creator of McCarthy Math Academy. And I just want to thank you for taking time out of your crazy, busy, nonstop schedule to join me on this episode, where today we're going to break down the following best standard. It's MA.4.NSO.2.1. MA stands for math, four stands for fourth grade, NSO stands for number sense and operations, and then we're on 2.1. Now, this document that I'm using to break down the standard is provided to the public by the Florida Department of Education. So this is, I'm just kind of walking you through the process that I take to take apart a standard so that I can create resources that are specifically aligned to the standards, which you have access to with your membership. We'll go over those, but first let's break it down. So this standard says to recall multiplication facts. So we're working on multiplication with factors of up to 12 and the related division facts with automaticity. Now, automaticity means that it doesn't take much effort for them to get to the product of these because we're going to be using this standard to help with more challenging problems where we're multiplying two digit times three digit numbers in a little bit, not in this standard. So some of the related or the horizontal alignment for fourth grade, we have, um, I'm surprised they didn't list any of the multiplication standards that are coming up in fourth grade, but we do have a fourth grade standard of fractions, multiplying whole, a whole number times a fraction, and also true or false equations with that 4.ar.2.1 standard. There are definitely other standards. I wouldn't ever say that, that this area is the end all be all. It just kind of shows you some related facts. Now, what we're going to be doing in this standard is implementing some properties like the associative property of multiplication means that if you saw, for instance, nine times two times five, and a student might think, well, I don't know what 18 times five is yet, but I do know what two times five is, that's 10. And I can now say 10 times nine is 90. That would be using the associative property, which means that you can change up the way that you group your factors. The commutative property of multiplication means like if you have a factor of seven times six, it will arrive at the same product as six times seven. The model, the array, the groups of things will look different based on the expression that you have, but the commutative property states that you will arrive at the same product. The distributive property of multiplication states that if you have, for instance, seven times six again, you could break apart one factor so if we broke seven into five and two, and you know five times six is 30, and two times six is 12, that helps you arrive at 42, which is seven times six. So using strategies to help us. And a factor, a factor is what you're multiplying by. Now, where are they coming from in third grade? Um, they're coming from yeah, I would say they're coming. Okay, so they're coming from 3.NSO.2.2, which is where they're exploring what multiplication is and division. And then also 2.4, which is when they're multiplying with procedural reliability and also dividing two. So they definitely have had practice. They spend a good amount of time in third grade, but just know that in third grade, they're not expected to master their facts. They're not expected to have the same level of automaticity as they are now in fourth grade. In fifth grade, 
they'll be heading into fifth grade where 5.nso.2.1 is where we're multiplying without any limits. You could be multiplying a five digit number times a three digit number. And also where we're dividing five digits divided by two digit numbers up to those. Okay, let's see what jumped out in the purpose and instructional strategy session, section, sorry. Okay, it says the purpose of this benchmark is for students to be able to state or recall their multiplication and division facts in an effortless manner. And so it kind of breaks down a little bit more, but right down here, if you need some help on how to break apart the different strategies, they've listed some of these strategies to help students work towards that automaticity. Focusing on multiplying zeros and ones, the doubles, the double and double again, the doubling three times for the eights, and so on. You can take a look at all the different ways to do this. We did go over some of them, but I'm going to show. I will also show you with taking on the best where that is helping with with this section right here. Okay, they did make a point here to say throughout K through five instruction, it is not recommended to use timed fact fluency assessments to learn and practice facts. And I said, I just kind of laughed when I thought this is like a never ending debate with people. Um, this is how I learned how to master my facts. Did it put pressure on me? Sure, I work well under pressure. Um, it helps me like sometimes just lighting a fire under me helps me to get stuff done but that's not how all students work and it can really stress them out and put them off to math and I am all about making math fun making it click and making it stick so I don't think that this is the end-all be-all um, yeah so anyway just leaving my little two cents there I don't really have a an opinion either way I'm cool with it I believe that there's other ways that students can learn as well um, nothing really stuck out at me here, but I'll just kind of, you can take a look at those if you'd like. Let's take a look though at what you have access to in your membership. So we're going to McCarthy Math Academy. Members enter here, or you can enter up here at the tab. And we are working with taking on the best fourth grade, which strand NSO. And we are on this one right here, 4.NSO.2.1 Multiplication and Division Facts. I know that some um, districts are using this standard to kick off the year, which is pretty cool because that's a nice way. A lot of times we start the year with place value and they should be definitely coming in with a lot of multiplication and division practice that this would be a nice way to kick off the year actually with this one. Okay. So in, let's see, for the bronze resource, you have one, two, three, four videos that you can use. And you also have printable guides to go with it. So the first video says multiplication and division facts, basic strategies. So it's just a reminder of how we can use skip counting or fact families to help us with this one. Um, and then in your multiplication and division facts here, focusing on the zeros, the ones, the fives, and the tens, just giving them some hints and some ways to remember those. For fourth grade here, multiplication and division facts, the twos, the fours, and the eights. So the twos, we're practicing the doubling strategy. The four in this video, we're practicing the double-double strategy and the eights is the double, double, double strategy. And then finally, there are some that are, that take a little bit longer to learn, like the six times seven, like nine times six, like 11 times 12, where you can use the distributive property to break a factor down, and that's what's modeled in this video. So there's a lot of space here. I'll show you the answer key in just a second with the silver. There's a lot of space here that we are filling in with lots of work and notes. So those are your bronze resources if you have a bronze membership. If you have the silver plan, the silver membership, you also have the bronze plus what's behind here. So you can go back to those bronze resources at any time, but here are your silvers. You've got the printables, you have answer keys, and then you have your math misconception mystery video. So if we click on the printables, you can see that same video lesson plus extra practice, the next video lesson, and with the silver you get extra practice, 
the next video lesson with the bronze and then for the silver you get extra practice with that video bronze video silver extra practice two videos two i'm sorry two extra practice worksheets to use for the uh the distributive property of multiplication and then for the math mission this is where we're combining the whole standard and making a math task out of it where it requires more thinking upon for the student. So part one says explain how you can quickly recall multiplication facts with a factor of zero. Explain how you can quickly recall multiplication facts with a factor of one. How are the facts, the fives, and the ten facts related? So this is this is more of a basic standard, so these are basic questions here. And then for the math misconception mystery video. Uh, this is the students will first solve this problem and then four characters which are really just me dressed up as silly characters will solve this problem three of them will make a mistake that students tend to make one of them will have the most reasonable answer and students have to pay close attention and discuss with their peers as to who has the most reasonable answer and why and also um, what the other characters did that was correct what their error was and what do they need to know for next time. So these are super fun and engaging video lessons that I really think that your students are gonna love. If you have the gold resources, you can click here. The gold plan, I'm sorry. With the gold, um, you do get this video ad-free, but it is available to the public on other outlets too. The big components of the gold are the mini assessment and mostly all the lessons to the McCarthy Math 155, which I'll show you in a second. So here would be an example of the mini assessment. Okay, just so you can see what they would be expected to do. You have that answer key as well. All right, and with the gold, you also have access to over 155 grade level videos for each grade. That's why it's called 155. This was the program that was aligned to the Common Core standards. When I was reviewing the new best standards, I realized that they do not align specifically with the the new best standard so i needed to make a new program for you hence this video hence this whole series but there are a lot of good stuff there is a lot of good stuff behind here so here we are there isn't anything in here that specifically aligns to this standard there's some third grade videos but there is the uh the multiplication unit that you have more practice like with multiplication multiplicative comparisons remember those and good stuff like that and there's for the upcoming standards you'll see that we have some extra practice that we will have for your students there okay cool so you can take a look at all that so not so much for this particular standard but for the next multiplication standards you will definitely have a lot of resources here in McCarthy Math 155 that you can utilize if you have the gold membership all right so that's it for this standard 4.nso.2.1. I want to thank you so much for joining me today. And more importantly, I want to thank you for all that you do to dedicate your life and your day and all your intentionality to education to your students because our students are the future. They are the future leaders, the future world changers, and I just, I believe in you. I believe what you're doing. I know that this profession is super challenging and super exhausting. So thank you for all that you do for education and for your students. It really does make a difference. We might not know how it's going to make a difference, but we just have to trust that what we continue to do every day, it will be a game changer for our students to lead them into a path that where they can step into their greatness, right? The person that they were born to be. That's so true. And with that said, I'll see you next time. So I hope you have a great day and I'll see you soon. Bye. Okay, so I know that I just said goodbye for now, but I'm gonna ask you to do one more thing, okay? If you enjoyed this episode, please consider sharing it with your teacher friends or other leaders in education. That's how I get to continue doing what I love to do, which of course is supporting you all to the best <laughs> of my ability. All right, for real now, bye.